new video time. So this video covers battery savers for your car. I actually got a request for someone to how these work in relation to your car, things like that. Um, and I decided to try two different types. So I'm gonna use the same intro for both. So if you watch the videos, same intro, that's okay. This is one, one video, one the next video or vice versa, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna cover one now in this video, watch the other video too, we're gonna see if it works. I've never tried them before. Uh, actually, I've never even tried battery savers at all. Um, I'd heard about them, but never tried, but as I got requested, I said, why not? Uh, so I'm not sure how good they're gonna be. We're gonna try. One is battery operated um, in the sense that it uses a nine volt battery. The other needs uh, some type of portable uh, uh, battery device or something like that. I have one of those, we'll try them both out. Uh, one is in this video, one's in the next, as I said before. So we'll just get right to it and uh, see how it goes. All right, so first thing to let you guys know. All right, so the car itself, I'm gonna set some stereo settings. That's all I'm gonna do. Um, we're gonna set some stuff and disconnect the battery. My battery has a negative kill. So for when it's uh, parked up and stuff like that, so I don't have to keep disconnecting the battery or anything like that. So what the idea will be is we'll hook up the device. I'll show you guys how to hook it up. I'll show you what it looks like, things like that. Uh, then we will go uh, kill the battery and I'll leave it for approximately an hour disconnected. And we're going to see what that does. And uh, we'll see how long it kind of lasts because of that. The idea being that the most common reason you'll probably do this is if your battery dies or something. And I imagine by the time you take out your battery, bring it to your parts place, get it exchanged, come back with a new battery and put it in, uh, then you know it'll be um, uh, it'll be approximately an hour. Could range for some people. Some people buy their battery first. Whatever the case, I'm just giving a, kind of a nice round one hour time. So we'll get to that. Uh, I obviously won't film for an entire hour because you know that's ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, we'll go through it step by step and see how it goes. All right, so the one we're looking at in this video is a memory saver ODB2 connector made by a company called Solar. Uh, this one I bought on Amazon. Uh, it basically just hooks up to your ODB2. I'll show you here. See, it hasn't even been used yet. So the difference with this one is, like a lot of these ones, is it hooks up to your ODB2 and then has to plug into a separate power source that has a cigarette lighter adapter. This doesn't plug into the cigarette light, uh, cigarette light adapter in your car. Obviously that would do nothing. There'd be no power to flow, but this hooks into a separate power source. So you do need to have a power source as well. Okay, and for those who are just wondering, just so you can see here, it says to use with a 12 volt portable power supply. Uh, it's designed as a vehicle uh, preset memory saver only. Uh, do not turn on the vehicle when using the uh, memory saver product. Um, when it's being used, to connect a 12 volt power supply to the vehicle. Okay, pretty straightforward stuff. Verify your 12 volt power supply is available accessory port and that its internal battery voltage is high enough, 12.4 volts, greater than, to power the vehicle while, while the battery is being replaced. With the vehicle turned off and all accessories off, connect the memory saver's DC plug to the portable power supply accessory port. Verify that the red LED on the cable is illuminated. This verifies the memory saver is receiving power from the portable power supply. Plug the memory saver ODB2 plug into the vehicle's ODB port. You may not disconnect the vehicle battery without having any loss of electronic presets. All right, so I'm just gonna put the key to the on position. General idea is I'm just trying to retain all the settings that are in the stereo here so we can see where it's set right now. Uh, Thursday, August 20th, 2.12 p.m. Here's our stations, we got like 92.5, 93.5. Uh, we have 91, 106.1, So uh, we're the thing is just to see if these are retained. That'll give us uh, you know an idea that everything is working okay. All right, so here's the ODB ODB2 port on the Grand Prix. So we're going to just plug that in there, like so. So here is my the power supply we'll be using here. It's from EverStart. I'm getting the job done. We'll sit, check the power. See it at 12.4, so we're all charged up. I'm just gonna take that. You can already see the light on coming from the car. I'm gonna open that up, plug that in. I have a quick disconnect on my car, so we're gonna disconnect the battery. And as I said before, we'll leave it for a bit. So battery is now completely disconnected, car is off.
All right, see you guys in an hour. It's been about an hour later. Let's take a look. So we'll reconnect our battery. Okay, this thing is still in here. Let's open up and unplug that. Let's see where our voltage went. Still 12.4, holding good. All right, we're just gonna unplug that from the ODB tube. And moment of truth. Key and the ignition, we're just gonna turn it to the on. And let's see. Yeah, looks like it worked. Date and time is holding up. Let's try our radio stations. Yeah, I mean, that, we left it on 93.5, it's still there. So you can see that's KISS 925, 93.5, 90.1, 106.1, 107.9, 94.1. So held up, and that's after an hour. Did the job. So this one is definitely a win. Go with that. I will post that one in the description for anyone who's interested. But that definitely did the job, even after an hour. All settings held up a okay. And there you go. So the one from Amazon from Solar did the job perfectly, left it for an hour, had the battery disconnected, reconnected, all settings were there. So I think uh, that's, a, I would call that a success. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so uh, that one, like I said uh, in the video there uh, earlier on, just a couple. 30 seconds ago or whatever uh, you know I'll have the link for it if you are interested in buying something like that um, that's gonna be I mean it's not something you'll use every day right but it is something that will be super helpful in keeping your settings and things like that so uh, yeah hopefully this video has helped you out thank you everyone for watching I do appreciate all the support out there uh, don't forget to throw a like on that video if it helps you if you found the information useful anything like that make sure you like it don't forget to subscribe help the channel grow and hit the notification if you want to see more of my videos if you dislike the video that's okay no problem at all but don't be a troll all right uh, make sure you put why in the comments I mean maybe I missed something maybe I got something wrong maybe there's something you feel better or you didn't like how I filmed whatever it is put it in there I make these videos to help people out so I can only make it better if I get the feedback but I need the feedback just don't be trolling all right uh, otherwise if you have any other comments feel free to do so I answer questions whenever I can um, if you want to add something on there if you have a helpful tip that maybe i didn't cover i didn't even know about make sure to put that in the comments as well i want to thank everyone and i will see you all next video